Hey, what's up mga learners? This is now the continuation of our lesson which talk about solving quadratic equation by factory. Just keep on watching, enjoy learning, learn more, and aim high. Welcome back guys, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. In this video, you will learn solving quadratic equations by factory. And this is using the reverse of foil method, part 1. And our objective is, the learner solves quadratic equations by factory using the reverse of foil method, where A equals 1. And this is the part 1 of this kind of factory, since we also have quadratic equations wherein the leading coefficient is higher than 1. And we have solving quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of file where a equals 1. Examples. Number 1. x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. Now let us recall the steps in solving this equation. Number one, the equation must be in standard form. Here, the equation is already in standard form. Number two, identify the values of B and C. Considering the value of A is 1, let us identify the values of B and C respectively. And B equals 9 and C equals 18. Number three, Write the factored form with factors of x squared in each parenthesis, like this. Quantity of x times quantity of x equals 0. Here we have missing part, and we're going to supply it later on. Number 4, list all sets of factors of c and choose the set that when add up, we get the value of B. And here we go. The sets of factors of C are, again, our C is 18. First, 1 times 18 equals 18. Next, negative 1 times negative 18 equals 18. 2 times 9 equals 18. Negative 2 times negative 9 equals 18. 3 times 6 equals 18. And last, negative 3 times negative 6 equals 18. Again, we can rearrange the order of the factors. Like in 1 times 18, 18 becomes first. And we can apply it to all of these factors. Next, after that, we will find the sum of each set of factors of C. Let us start with 1 plus 18 equals 19. Next, negative 1 plus negative 18 equals negative 19. 2 plus 9 equals 11. Negative 2 plus negative 9 equals negative 11. 3 plus 6 equals 9. And negative 3 plus negative 6 equals negative 9. Now, let us choose the set of factors of C with the sum of B. And which pair is that? So we have, okay, good, pair number 5. Here we have 3 times 6 equals 18. And then the sum is 3 plus 6 equals 9. So this is the value of B, 9. Number five, complete the factored form by supplying the set of factors of C with sum of B. So we have quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x plus 6 equals 0. Okay, so 3 and 6 came from 3 times 6 
as a factor of 18 with the sum of 9. Question. Can we rearrange the order of this to binomials? Yes, we can. And we can have quantity of x plus 6 times quantity of x plus 3 equals 0. Number 6. Set up each factor equal to 0 and solve each resulting equation. We have x plus 3 equals 0. Then after that, what are we going to do? Based on the previous lesson or video lesson. Okay, so we will apply the transposition property of equality or we will add the inverse operation of our constant term to both sides of our equation. So we have here the constant as positive 3. So its inverse is negative 3. So we have x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 minus 3. And x is negative 3. Next, x plus 6 equals 0. The same process with this. Let us add the inverse of positive 6 to both sides of the equation. So we have x plus 6 minus 6 equals 0 minus 6. And we have x equals negative 6. Now, to check, let us substitute the values of x in the original equation. For x equals negative 3, and our original equation is x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0, let us substitute the value of x which is negative 3. So we have quantity of negative 3 squared plus 9 times negative 3 plus 18 equals 0. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 which is equal to 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27 plus 18 equals 0. 9 minus 27 is negative 18 plus 18 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. Check. For x equals negative 6, let us substitute negative 6 to x from our original equation. So we have quantity of negative 6 squared plus 9 times negative 6 plus 18 equals 0. Negative 6 squared is negative 6 times negative 6, which is equal to 36. 9 times negative 6 is negative 54 plus 18 equals 0. 36 minus 54 is negative 18 plus 18 equals 0. So we have 0 equals 0. Check. Therefore, the values of x are negative 3 and 6. Number 2. x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals 0. Again, the equation must be in standard form, and this is in standard form. Number 2, identify the values of b and c. b equals negative 12, c equals 35. Write the factored form with factors of x squared in each parenthesis, like this. And number 4, list all sets of factors of c and choose the set that when add up, we get the value of b. So we have the sets of factors of c. Again, c is 35. We have 1 times 35 equals 35. Negative 1 times negative 35 equals 35. 5 times 7 equals 35. And last, negative 5 times negative 7 equals 35. Then after that, we will get the sum of each set. 1 plus 35 equals 36. Negative 1 plus negative 35 equals negative 36. 5 plus 7 equals 12. 
and negative 5 plus negative 7 equals negative 12. So, which among the sets of factors has the sum of B? So, we have the last pair or the last set. Number 5. Complete the factored form by supplying the set of factors of C with sum of B. And our complete factored form is quantity of x minus 5 times quantity of x minus 7 equals 0. Number 6. We will set up now each factor equal to 0 and solve. We have the first factor, x minus 5 equals 0. And again, we will apply the transposition property of equality by adding the inverse operation of negative 5. So we have x minus 5 plus 5 equals 0 plus 5. Here, negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So x equals 5. Next, x minus 7 equals 0. What would be the inverse operation of negative 7? Okay, so positive 7. And we will add positive 7 to both sides of the equation. We have x minus 7 plus 7 equals 0 plus 7. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. So therefore, x is 7. Let us check. For x equals 5, our original equation is x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x that is 5. So we have 5 squared minus 12 times 5 plus 35 equals 0. 5 squared is 5 times 5 which is equal to 25. Negative 12 times 5 equals negative 60 plus 35 equals 0. For x equals 7, let us substitute 7 to x from the original equation, x squared minus 12x plus 35 equals 0. So we have 7 squared minus 12 times 7 plus 35 equals 0. 7 squared is 7 times 7 equals 49. Negative 12 times 7 is negative 84 plus 35 equals 0. 49 minus 84 is negative 35, plus 35 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. Check. Therefore, the values of x are 5 and 7. Number 3. x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Following the steps, the equation must be in standard form, and this is now in standard form. Identify the values of B and C. B equals negative 2, and C equals negative 15. Next, write the factored form with factors of x squared in each parenthesis. Like this. 4. List all sets of factors of C and choose the set that when add up, we get the value of B. Okay? So we have the sets of factors of C. 1. 1 times negative 15 equals negative 15. 2. Negative 1 times 15 equals negative 15. 3. 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15. 4. Negative 3 times 5 equals negative 15. And let us get the sum of each set. 1 plus negative 15 equals negative 14. Negative 1 plus 15 equals 14. 3 plus negative 5 equals negative 2. And negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. So which pair or set of factors has sum of B? Okay, so we have the third pair. So, we will complete now the factored form. The complete factored form is quantity of x plus 3 times quantity of x minus 5 equals 0. Next, setting up each factor equal to 0. We have x plus 3 equals 0. 
apply the transposition property of equality, we have x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 minus 3. This will become 0. And 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Therefore, x is negative 3. Next, x minus 5 equals 0. Apply the transposition property of equality. We have x minus 5 plus 5 equals 0 plus 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. So x equals 5. Let us check. For x equals negative 3, and our original equation is x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0, let us substitute the value of x which is negative 3. So we have quantity of negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 minus 15 equals 0. And negative 3 squared is 9, since we have negative 3 times negative 3. Next, negative 2 times negative 3 equals positive 6. So we have plus 6 minus 15 equals 0. 9 plus 6 equals 15. Minus 15 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. For x equals 5, let us substitute the value of x to the equation. So we have... 5 squared minus 2 times 5 minus 15 equals 0. 5 squared is 5 times 5 equals 25. Negative 2 times 5 equals negative 10 minus 15 equals 0. 25 minus 10 is 15 minus 15 equals 0. So 0 equals 0 check. Therefore, the values of x are negative 3 and 5. So guys, mga learners, this is the end of our lesson, solving quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of oil, where A equals 1. Since this is just the part 1 of the lesson, expect that we have the part 2, wherein the leading coefficient is higher than 1, or the value of A is greater than 1. And before I will officially end with this session, let me share this to you guys. If you hate the subject, try to love the subject teacher until you love the subject too. Bye, Sir Mar. Thank you so much.